Aww, give her a cuddle. Baby Sophie is happy and healthy, but her story could have been very different if it wasn't for the incredible work of one Sussex-based charity. When she was born, the little girl wasn't breathing properly because she'd swallowed large amounts of meconium after a bowel movement in the womb. Once they'd stabilised her, doctors gave her a special cooling therapy by using a special suit. Cooling her body reduced her brain temperature and in turn lowered the risk of brain damage. I think without it she wouldn't be here. Um, they've put, there's so many people that put so much effort and time into these research projects and they've saved thousands and thousands of lives. The groundbreaking therapy is the product of a 20-year programme of research which Horsham-based charity Action Medical Research contributed. The charity was founded in 1952 by Duncan Guthrie after his daughter was diagnosed with polio. Duncan was frustrated with the lack of research and treatment centres. Within 10 years, the UK polio vaccine was introduced and it's kept millions of children safe ever since. Over the years, it's helped with many groundbreaking treatments for sick and disabled children, but it's also been involved with introducing things we now take for granted, like ultrasound scanning in pregnancy. Now the charity is helping researchers in Oxford to develop a new vaccine which they hope will protect children from a deadly condition. Currently, uh, we're working with them on a new meningitis vaccine which will prevent that very serious disease in children. So they've spent over that um, period of time, the last um, 60 years, some £100 million pounds, um, on research that's really improved the lives of children. Without Action Medical Research's support over the past 60 years, subsequent medical breakthroughs and treatments which save lives wouldn't have been possible. Charlotte Wilkins, Fort Meridian Tonight.